I just thank you and respect you and and how you say appreciate you and you know that and that's enough okay yes master yes, thank you master. and if i write stars and you you count it okay <laughs> <laughs> who has more stars <laughs> <laughs> yeah maybe i use that system yeah i don't know it's because we're in a physical body it's also nice to how to say communicate you know with each other yes. for your sake yeah you feel encouraged right yes, yes. master we do also, you feel assured, oh, I'm doing the right thing. Yes. Because yes. after you do, you might think, oh, I wonder if I, I do it good enough. That's right. Yeah, uh, if Master uh, feels good with that or not. Yeah. So I say that, and this just to make you happy, okay? We love it, Master. Yeah, to make you feel uh, reassured, yeah, that you're doing right, that you are going in a good direction, and you feel not so worried. Yeah, yes, that's master. all. Yes, master. Otherwise, I would prefer writing nothing before. I only, only click, 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 because they would be writing it, not me. And now I have to write it myself. So I take care of as much work as I can, but so busy, so busy. A lot of things, a lot of other things. Yes. Not just uh, uh, our television, many other things, because of business, because people, and oh, yeah, never mind. I do as much as I can, okay? Yes, Master. Thank I you. Don't, I don't have 10,000 arms like one in Bodhisattva. No. <laughs> Not physically, yeah. Okay, my love. Uh, so we leave the Bitcoin where it is, yeah? I don't yes, know. Master. <laughs> truly, <laughs> truly, I confess I know nothing about it. I saw it, I heard the name Bitcoin, but I don't know what they do. Because I never put my attention to it. I thought it's something they do just like nowadays. We invent the computer or laptop or apps, this app, this app. Yes. Uh, or tweet, uh, tweet, tweet, and uh, YouTube, whatever. Yes, ma'am. I say this because it's not my work, so I don't pay attention too much, okay? Yes, ma'am. Unless something is really connected with people. Like, I don't really like political talk, but if it connects with people, if it hurts people in some way, and if I could say a few words, that might help. It might not even help because nobody listens even. I don't know, but I say what I I think. I'm praying that it may help people. Mm. Yes. Then I do it. But the Bitcoin, it doesn't concern me yet. So I'm sorry to disappoint you. What I know, then I know. What I don't know, I tell you I don't know. Huh? Yes. Okay? So you can always know that I tell you the truth and I tell you only what I know. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, and I'm not ashamed to tell you I don't know a bit about Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> not a bit. <laughs> okay, next one. Master, um, do they still do they have a monetary system, the more spiritually advanced planets? Oh, no. Not, not all of them have it. Yes. Even on our planet, I tell you, there are some places they don't use money. Yeah. Yeah. Except for some rare occasion. Like there is an island in Australia called Lord Howe Island, I think. Yeah, they, they exchange. They still exchange. Everybody has to toil for their survival there. Okay? Yeah. They they have to plant potatoes if they want to, to have uh, um, tomatoes from the neighbors. They have to plant vegetables for lectures if they want to have cucumber from the man next door. They exchange it. But the tourists, they, they probably can pay with money. Yeah, very rarely, though, because they put like a piece, a basket of oranges outside on the street like that, and they say, whatever you think, yeah, you put there. I'm not sure they put stuff or they put money. Maybe the tourists, they have to put money, yeah, because they don't have anything to exchange. But uh, between them, they have to exchange things. They don't use currency. And they're very happy there. It's only about 400 people, more or less, and they allow only about 400 tourists to protect their environments, you know, from mm -hmm. contamination or over abuse, yeah, yeah, of their small economy and island. Over there, uh, the animals also live in harmony with humans. Wow. You know, like you go in the jungle and you clap a few times, and the birds or other animals will come to you. Wow. Say hello. Yeah. Something like that. No, they're not afraid of humans. It's long ago since I read that. You can read again, okay? You can read again or put it put it as the footnote or caption or explanation for other people. Yeah? Yes, yes. 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 
There are more details about their island also, but it seems like a paradise to me. <laughs> Animals come when you clap. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, and you have to exchange by your label to your neighbor to have some potatoes or mm. oranges. And the, the oranges just live on the street in the basket and whoever wants to take them, take them. You know, they trust that much. Mm. Take yeah. it and exchange with something or put some money or something in it. Yeah, it depends on who you are. The tourists, of course, they, they let them pay with money. And then that money they they use to buy things from outside of their island. Because outside of the island, for example, mainland Australia, I don't think they can bring a basket of oranges and tell the the supermarkets, I want your <laughs> bread <laughs> with it. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yes. yes, yeah. yes. And they do still need money because I think they interact with outside, outside of the islanders. And, uh, you know, for repairing their, their areas, for the reef or the island uh, protecting walls or whatever, yeah, or buying things from outside to bring back to their island to do their work nowadays like that. But I think over there you don't have even uh, cell phones, it doesn't work. <laughs> so when you go there, you're completely lost in their world, finito. Mm -hmm. And then you go out when your visa is finished, yeah. Uh, I think there's no high tech over there. Nothing much to worry about, but they help with repairing the island from the tourist uh, invasion and also like uh, trimming grass and all that, yeah, or repairing the border wall or stuff like that. Because they have very little people. I don't think they have 400 people. I forgot how many. But from what I read, they allow only 400 people to come in and you have to book long in advance so that you can come. You cannot just go there right away. You have to book because the plane and all that stuff. Yes, yes, yes. It seemed like a very remote island. <laughs> what a good one and an exchanging system, <laughs> like old times. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Maybe you like to to live in that place. Whoever asked me this question about bit bit whatever con that is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you be happier there, but you can't work for SMTV. There's no internet. <laughs> You can't even call out. <laughs> no phone. <laughs> no cell phone coverage, I think. No. At that time, I'm not sure, maybe they update now with a lot of tourists coming, I'm not sure. Originally, they didn't want any tourists. But later, you know, they let them in. Yeah, 400. That's good, huh? And mm -hmm. control yes, tourism. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, like this, they can have a chance to interact with others and let other people know their paradise, but not damaging mm -hmm. their home. It's very smart. very smart. Okay, any other questions? Mm, no, Master. No, 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 no spontaneous question. Master, was that island called Palau? Palau? Uh huh. No, no, no. That's no? Uh, Lord Howe Island. Oh. Belong to Australia. Oh. Near Australia, not Palau. Palau, I don't know. I went there, but I don't think they have the exchange system. I don't know for sure about that. I didn't read that. But uh, Lord Howe Island, they call it. It's named by one of the persons who discovered that island, I think. A long time. I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> okay, okay. All alone. And on your computer, you are an island too, right? <laughs> we are all, because we're so concentrated on our work, yeah? Yes. yes. Otherwise, Master will not... Uh, Give you two stars. <laughs> <laughs> that I think is also a big con system, right? Yeah. <laughs> Instead of saying uh, actual work, you put stars in it. Yeah. Instead of spending cash, real money, you use digital. Hmm? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. If nothing else, then uh, what time is it? Oh my God, two o'clock. Yes. Oh, you must be tired, no? No, master. Working all day already. But I let you sleep one hour before the conference. <laughs> because I know if I don't let you, then maybe you keep nothing over here. <laughs> Very bad for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay, I read you a story or you want to go sleep? Tell me. Story. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I also think so. Because if not, I never know when I have another chance again. Okay? Yes, yes. Sometimes I think I have a lot of chances. But sometimes I don't, yeah? Yes, I understand. Because if too much a burden of karma, then sometimes my, my inspiration also is not there too. Yes, yes. yes. suppressed. 
and I don't feel like doing it. Mm, yeah. Even if I, I want to, it feels like an obligation. Yes. Ma'am. And you will feel that, and I don't want you to feel that. I want you to feel nice and welcome and happy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. For a change from your hard day's work of the week or something. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you Master. Yeah, or some stress. <laughs> Yeah, you know, we work, we have stress also, huh? Eh? Yes? Mm. All right. Okay, this story is called the phoenix, but I want you to know that this is not really a physical phoenix, okay? Yes. It's a, it's a story also. Anyway, it's in the Jewish uh, treasury book, folklore, folklore treasury of the Jews. This one is called the phoenix. Okay, I need my modern day miracle. <laughs> we have so many miracles nowadays that we even take it all for granted, yeah? Yes. yes. Just to talk with you like this is a miracle for me. Yes, yes. Master. Yes, master. So that I can still do some little bit of reminding people through this way, yeah, even though I'm in retreat. Thank even thank though you. I'm busy, but I still can do it. It's different from going out and, you know, <laughs> dressing up or things like that. To do remote like this is good because I don't have to dress up a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm dressed up though. Yeah, from top to to toe. <laughs> yeah, not like one of the CNN uh, top reporters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He didn't wear any pants. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, they, many people do Zoom and do all kinds of stupid things that that the, they think they already shut the computer, but they didn't. And yeah. people saw them all. But uh, I'm not like a CNN reporter. I, I, I wear trousers and top, but I don't have to match it all up. Yes. Yeah, I could wear the blue trousers and a red T-shirt. Nobody sees. <laughs> they only see the red T-shirt. I don't show the, the, the mismatching down there. <laughs> uh, okay. 